guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 of Ocean One McCoy. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god, we're gonna show it again. No, I don't wanna see it! Yeah, but some people aren't really tough. They don't have a thick skin for it. Mm hmm And then everybody takes a screenshot of it and uses it against them.
No, no, what do you think, though? But you have to lean on your family. Boom. Say that again for people in the fucking back. Everybody needs to pay attention to that shit. True, but she can still, even with this situation, she can leave. Yeah, but the thing is, she needed to say it for herself, not for all of you. Honest. Hundred is a lot, Jesus. <laughs> You're right. That's a very fucking reality TV show does that shit.
but still almost in a way kind of staging it. Right? And that's where she comes in, duh! I think that would be really nice and glued. Oh, somebody was rolling something. Come on now. Ah, of course. Just somebody on the cast and crew could literally just open their little big fat mouth and just, you know, ruin everything you guys worked for. Plus, she's immediately not going to tell you because how she feels because of the fact that she's really wanting to please you. Of course he does. How long did that take? Oh. 
mean, well, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing her, like, freaking YouTube channel is linked to her fucking Twitter page. Also, fuck you, Twitter, for taking that shit away. Oh, duh. I mean, well, you're the only guy right now. I don't know. But Kanye's got it. You're spot on. Oh. <laughs> I do everything to him.
That is the next level portion of research, like fucking top tier. Had to be the guy, of course, she impregnated her, duh. Once again, that <laughs> kind of got that consuming mentality. <laughs> She about to come in and blow you away. The fact that, like, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay. All I will say is, once again, the level of research and stuff. Think about what majority of any actors who have to play really known actor, well, personalities and characters and such. So... I cannot believe I'm about to say this, so like when actors have to portray serial killers, um, maybe inventors and such, a lot of people really go all in. Like I could say, um, homeboy who did freaking Elvis, the, the one thing that I heard so much about that movie, even though I haven't seen it myself, because it didn't really, I'm not that type of girl who likes, I, I like autobiographies in a weird way, but... I didn't, when I saw the trailer at Elvis, it didn't really interest me, so I was like, no. Um, but performance-wise, like, he did really good, but it got to a point where he lost um, his original voice. He only knew his Elvis voice, and he was talking a lot in his Elvis voice that to the point that he needed to go to, I think, like, therapy to get away from all of that because when you study a role and hone your craft on that role, that, it feels like it's the only thing you fucking know and such. Let's look at freaking, um, oh my God, what the hell is his name? Um, nope, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. Okay, I, I, I gotta, let me, oh God. Um, let's Uh, it's Ryan Murphy show I watched. New? New. Okay, the one that was like the most freaking controversial shit that he did just recently. Um. Was it Monster? Yeah. Um, the Jeffrey Dahmer. So, like, when, um, Ian Peter, Evan Peters, when he did that role, the shit that he did doing that like once again you're losing it feels like you lose yourself in 
honing on your research and stuff. But I feel like for Akane, this is a gain for her. And so, yeah, uh, I would definitely might fall for her. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie because, yes, when you literally heard her speak, you were like, oh, shit. Like, damn. But like, like I said, when you know your craft and you really study that ish, like truly study that that's next level. You become that person to the point where it's like people off the fucking street when they come up to you and, you know, you say, hi, I loved you and such and such. You were so freaking good and that and or you go to a con and they do like a line from a movie um, as their character and such. And you're just like, what is life? <laughs> but still, at the same time, you have to worry about how. So many actors, this could be male, female, whoever, can lose themselves in portraying, excuse me, those, um, I, well, I hate to say iconic, um, individuals, because in the way you can kind of say that for them, even though some are serial killers and so many things and others, and, but still, I mean, yeah, it, ah, oh, it, it was too good. She, 10 out of 10 best girl would recommend definitely because god like she she made me like uh, uh. <laughs> but i also love the fact is that they all decided to make a video to make her image a little bit more better and such i thought that was a really interesting idea i original originally i was thinking like okay what if like what's her face um the blonde haired girl, whose name I can't remember, would have had a Kanye like come on her YouTube channel and they would have just talked about everything. So like think about majority of scandals that has happened on YouTube and such. And then eventually either one of two things happens. Um, the person makes an, a, a long ass apology and we always meme that shit up. Um, or we get a really genuine one. And sometimes, and those are like diamonds in the rough. Like you really really truly won't see those in my opinion i feel like the last genuine apology i saw was a while ago um and such heck even the controversies that i've been in with some of the things that i've said i have i'm always going to be very 100 percent sincere in what i've done and said that is wrong and such and why i didn't need to say and vowed to not do it again of course but it happens no one is perfect i think she will definitely evolve from this so much freaking much so much freaking much wow that's a very deep that is a sentence dj oh my god so freaking much there we go um, and she already has. She is really, truly thriving in this. But my thing is this now, because she is now, she has her eye mode now. Of course, once again, Aqua is going to fall for her. But I mean, are they really, truly going to date? Or is it just going to be the quote unquote publicity stunt and stuff? We're only doing it because of the show and such. Because once again, look at majority of these reality TV shows. In a nutshell, 50 out of 50, if two people come together, either that relationship is very genuine or it's just for the TV show. For an example, if any of you have seen freaking Vanderpump Rules, which is a show that I personally watched in the early stages while I was still in high school when it was in like the good first couple of seasons and such we had a couple it, it's a very complicated it's a long story short there was this couple guy and a girl named Ariana and Tom and Tom cheated on Ariana with this girl named Raquel and that blew up but the thing is when you go back and look at like older seasons like season one season two season three Tom who was with um, a different girl who, before he met Ariana, he cheated on his former girlfriend with Ariana. So we have a portion where people who love this couple for almost a decade, literally a decade, um, are super duper upset that Tom would cheat on her with this new person and such. And then there are ones who are saying, karma is a bitch, you, you did it with her, so now the same thing's happening to you. Me, I, at first, I'm like, I was in the middle where I was like this and this, but at the same time, because I liked 
Ariana a lot. I felt for her and truly because I was like, that is just scum. And how it's like, once again, you think about it, if he cheats, he, he, I'm not saying all guys cheat. Please don't take that. Um, if he or she cheats once, they're definitely going to do it again and such. And I think there were so many times where she had so many things that she could have done and prevented, but it's a lot of history. So that, when I look at their relationship, it was very genuine, but due to maybe some things that happened on the show and then plus Raquel coming in, then it felt like more publicity stunt. Now when you look at Tom and Raquel and their relationship, because a while back ago, about like mid-March or whenever this was all ha this happened around like March and stuff, um, between March and April and officially when Tom and Ariana stopped dating, they supposedly started dating. And I was like, oh, that's just for like publicity-ish and stuff. And he's over here still saying like, oh, I still love Ariana. And I'm over here like, how the hell can you still love someone and be with the other woman? And then it was funny enough, last freaking week, it was announced that Tom and Raquel aren't together anymore. And I was like, that's bullshit. I was like, that's bullshit. They're doing that to hide that shit under the rug that they're still dating. Because I know fucking reality te television. Come on now. We all fucking know reality te television. And the things, the staging that, you know, the companies will do. And also people in interviews, the journalists, whoever. People will do that to stage and to hide something. Be like, oh, okay, we want the light and the spotlight. Kind of like hit it off of us and on someone else. Because funny enough... Another Vanderpump Rules reality store, uh, star documentary came out on Monday. And so now really the light is coming back on her and such. But see, p people are still over here looking at Tom and Raquel. So it, it's just a never ending ball game with any typical type of reality TV show, um, television, good, bad, indifference, whatever. One minute you can have the most positive shining spotlight and the next thing you know because of one fucking thing you said you did whatever everything gets changed and then if you go on twitter and you say something about it of course you're gonna be freaking <laughs> memed people are gonna come for you like if you come on here and say something you think do you think people are not gonna judge you for what the heck you say on there especially if you did something as cheating on your spouse Come on now. We weren't born yesterday. That's all I'll say about that. But I mean, seriously, at the end of the day, I am proud of Akane, that of everything that she has accomplished. I cannot wait to see how she goes or where she goes after this and stuff. I just, um, of course she's going to be like kind of a part of the group for Aqua and Ruby and such. But I hope that we do get to see a lot more of her where it's not like, oh, one minute she's here and then the next minute we don't get to see anything about her for like a couple of seasons. But I don't think that's personally going to happen. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode seven of Ocean on the If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Action Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode eight. Bye, guys.